what I also want to do now is challenge you at home that's watching this video series, and let's actually make an assignment together, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you, in a moment, stop the video. You can draw a character, your own character, your own OC. Um, and now I want you to draw, so we're going to do it twice. We're going to just draw our character in a regular neutral pose, and then I want you to draw them that character in a pose where they're super happy, okay? And so how does being super happy, feeling that emotion, how does that change your, your character design, change that pose? How do you communicate that within the same design? So that's our first challenge. So I'm gonna pause here for a minute so you can pause, pause the video and draw a simple character in a neutral pose and then that same character, super happy. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna use that same simple guy that I did a design of earlier. And um, he basically looks like this. He's got kind of a big nose, simple eye line. Um, he's genuinely happy. Anyway, this is my neutral pose of what he looks like. He's got kind of a pear-shaped body. He's got a big butt for some reason. And his legs kind of taper down to some cuffs. I'm just gonna put him, his hands on his waist here. So that's my, my normal character here in a neutral pose. Now let's make him super happy. So the first thing I'm gonna think about is when I think of happy, I think of exuberant. I think of um, you know everything kind of coming out, almost like an explosion of joy. So I'm gonna go pretty big with this guy and I'm gonna think about super happy as cheering and um, something that's pretty, I'm gonna, I love that he's got this big um, nose. So I'm also thinking about the silhouette value by having that nose out there. Oops. He's happy. He's not shouting. All right. So here's his head. I'm thinking about the line of action being really outward and, um, a convex line of action. I want to throw his arms out as he's cheering. And I'm going to make him actually kicking up in the... I'm just going to make kind of an X here with his body posture. That way he's going to be like celebrating by jumping up in the air. He's super happy. I've never been this happy in my life, but this guy has. Maybe he got his butter, I think, maybe. Super happy. Some of this is going to be hidden behind his arm here. Those are his sleeves. I'm going to make his hands just as explosive and open so that everything is coming out. All of his fingers are splayed. Ah, getting a little bit close to my other drawing. That's okay. We're doing this quick. He's got a little belt. He's got these cuffs on, his jeans or whatever he's got on. We're seeing the bottom of his shoes, so I'm going to add a little heel. And then I'll do a little shadow underneath. It makes it look like he's exuberantly super happy. And you can see that all of our elements of putting everything together that we're about to talk about, line of action and how to open up a pose, it all, it all came together for this guy. And I'm gonna say he, I got my butter. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. He 
finally got his butter. All right, well, let's get into it more, guys. All right, here we go. That was a fun assignment. That was so cool. You guys, I know you did a good job. Um, I had been doing that too. So the next parts of these this video series, we're gonna start getting into some very specific things. I'm gonna teach you about what a line of action is and how to use that. I wanna talk about relaxed poses, active and inactive, and how that can be part of your pose making and part of the storytelling of the character. Twists and tilts, that's also a great little tip about how to make something look appealing or unique. Um, weight, balance, silhouette, those are all really important elements in creating poses that have clarity, that have, um, uh, that have substance, and that feel real to the audience. And, and I don't mean like real, like live action real, I mean believable. And that's really what we're going for, whether it's cartoony, whether it's realistic, we're trying to create a believability with our characters that they really exist, that they really are feeling these emotions, right? Some of that's in the drawing and some of that's in, in the thinking that you put into the drawing. So, uh, and then lastly, adding the personality. Let's take it, take all those things that we've learned and let's talk about how to infuse personality uh, and appeal into your characters. So thank you guys for being with me on this journey and let's get going.